A single candle glows at the front of St John's Church in Penniston. It's been lit as part of a vigil to remember Darren Sykes and his two young sons, Paul and Jack. Reverend Anne Pass is inviting people inside to pray for the family and to gather together and find comfort as a community. The community are absolutely devastated and the two schools that are affected by it, both pupils and staff, are also very hurt. They're a well-known family and so everybody is so shocked and full of horror at the fact that something like this can have happened. But yet we are trying to knit together and, uh, and look after, particularly the mum. In the middle of a tragedy like this, they need all the support and prayer that people can give them. It is important for this whole community to come together and to comfort each other because it's comforting for the family and their tremendous loss. Initially, it was in the response to Jack's mum, who was having a vigil by her son's bed while Jack was suffering the effects of the burns and she asked for people to pray and when we saw that that had happened we responded immediately by saying that we would hold a vigil in church so that people could respond to that through prayer and so that the whole community could be involved in praying for the family. The church will be open for people between 9am and 5pm until Friday. There are more cards and flowers on the railings of Springvale Primary School where Paul was a pupil and for his older brother Jack, he'll be remembered by his classmates and teachers when they gather together on Monday.